Hello everyone and welcome to my channel where I talk about the latest trends and innovations in AI. In a world driven by innovation and technology, one company stands at the forefront of unlocking the limitless possibilities of artificial intelligence. For decades, we've marveled at the progress AI has made. From simple calculations to complex problem solving, AI has become an integral part of our lives. Today, AI is everywhere, making our lives easier and more efficient. But what if we could take AI to the next level? What if we could create AI with human-like intelligence and understanding? Google DeepMind, renowned for its groundbreaking work in AI research, is about to unveil its most ambitious project yet that is Gemini. Google's DeepMind Gemini is the latest text-based artificial intelligence to challenge OpenAI's ChatGPT. Gemini will feature multiple large language models, LLMs, of various sizes and bring multimodal capabilities to the Google AI suite. Like ChatGPT, it will also push the boundaries of new innovations in AI technology but is claimed to be more powerful than its rival. However, time will tell which model is more powerful. You might now wonder when Google will release it to try out its latest features against the ChatGPT for AI system. The Gemini project will aim to tackle difficult problems through algorithms, deep learning process, and reinforcement learning techniques. Most importantly, different fields of work will widely consider its use for future innovations. DeepMind CEO Demi Hassabis has promised it will combine the strengths of AlphaGo type systems with the amazing language capabilities of the large models. One of the most exciting aspects of Gemini is its creativity. Unlike other AI models that are bound by the data they've been trained on, Gemini has the ability to generate novel outputs. This means it can create content that doesn't necessarily exist in its training data, making it a powerful tool for creative tasks. For instance, if you ask Gemini to generate a story or a piece of art, it won't just regurgitate something it's seen before. Instead, it will create something unique, based on the patterns and structures it's learned during training. Moreover, Gemini is not limited to a single modality. It can generate outputs in different formats based on user preferences. This includes text, images, audio, and more. So whether you want a written report, a visual diagram, or an audio narration, Gemini has got you covered. Prior to this, Google had already been developing its own AI chatbot, BART. However, BART is more of a competitor to Microsoft's Bing Chat, so an inbuilt feature on a search engine. DeepMind Gemini encompasses more complex areas of AI. Many recent gains in AI have been thanks to ever bigger algorithms consuming more and more data. As engineers increased the number of internal connections or parameters and began to train them on internet scale data sets, model quality and capability increased like clockwork. Last month, at Google's developer conference, CEO Sundar Pichai announced that work on Gemini was underway. He said the company was building it from the ground up to be multimodal, that is, trained on and able to fuse multiple types of data, like images and text, and designed for API integrations. Now add in reinforcement learning and perhaps, as Knight speculates, other deep mind specialties in robotics and neuroscience. And the next step in AI is beginning to look a bit like a high-tech quilt. But Gemini won't be the first multimodal algorithm, nor will it be the first to use reinforcement learning or support plugins. OpenAI has integrated all of these into GPT for with impressive effect. If Gemini goes that far and no further, it may match GPT-4. What's interesting is who's working on the algorithm. Earlier this year, DeepMind joined forces with Google Brain. Mixing DeepMind's reinforcement learning expertise into large language models may yield new abilities. In addition, Gemini may set a high watermark in AI without a leap in size. There is a tough competition between Gemini and GPT-4. Whether Gemini matches or exceeds GPT-4 remains to be seen. As architectures become more complicated, gains may be less automatic. Still, it seems a fusion of data and approaches, text with images and other inputs, large language models with reinforcement learning models, the patching together of smaller models into a larger whole. Maybe what Altman had in mind when he said we'd make AI better in ways other than raw size. Currently, there isn't any fixed date officially announced by Google. The CEO of Google DeepMind, Demis Hassabis, hasn't given a Gemini AI release date estimate, instead claiming that the artificial intelligence program still has a few months to release. However, 
Different unofficial sources claim it is close to its release date and might be released in October 2023. As we advance further in today's modern technological AI era, we now see more AI-based programs, chatbots or tools being released. Each of these AI models claims to be better than its rival. The same is the case with Google's upcoming DeepMind Gemini. Whether or not it would be more powerful than OpenAI's ChatGPT is a debate of later stage. If this video was helpful to you, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel to stay beyond in the field of artificial intelligence. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time.